Are our faces molded by the violence of our ancient ancestors? New science says that might be possible, but other science says that violence is all in our heads. Hey people, this is D News. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Trace. Violence is everywhere. Loudmouths love to blame movies and video games, but let's be real, violence has been around for far longer than video media. Ancient human culture shared habits with ape culture, creating social groups for mating and defense. Chimps form raiding parties, they attack competitors, and have been known to fight to the death. Are humans just as brutal? We descend from the same common ancestor and share 99% of our DNA after all. Well, a new study in biological reviews collected results from a number of other studies about the facial structure of primates. Relying on references from many dozens of other scientists, the researchers found the jawbones and cheekbones of primates became larger and thicker over time, suggesting that ancient primates' faces evolved to be able to take a punch better. To support this hypothesis, they looked at the difference between female and male primates too and found that the lady primates weren't evolving the same heavy bones and structures as the gentlemen. In line with this, the muscles of the modern male jaw are 34% stronger in males than females. Researchers believe that this was all to hold the face together better. Essentially, since ancient male animals were literally duking it out for mates, the faces of the winners needed to be able to withstand a good hit and those who could take it on the cheek best would be more likely to get lucky. The researchers also observed the muscles of the trunk and the limbs were larger. It's thought that was in order to shield the face from injury and protect the brain from concussions. Basically, dudes look the way they do because of the tendency for us to beat the crap out of each other. And at least in the West, that often means hitting each other in the face a lot. They concluded that females look different because their faces didn't need those strong jaws and heavy bones to keep their facial shape intact because, you know, hitting. Their bones could literally be daintier. Before this study, the accepted theory was that our faces were shaped not by battle, but by food. Hard to chew foods required stronger bones, larger muscles, heavier brows to gnaw through. But this group claims that the diet would then have caused both males and females to have such advantages, which isn't seen in the actual bones. In the end, the question is still, are we made to be violent? People have debated this since ancient times. Aggressive behavior is common in those defending kids or loved ones. We still see this today. But there's a large body of evidence that suggests that that isn't an inborn thing, but rather a response to our environment. Elizabeth Cashdan, a professor of anthropology at the University of Utah, said that we have equal ability to cooperate and be social as we do to be aggressive and violent. And psychologist Augustin Fuentes of the University of Notre Dame points out aggression is not a single trait or an easily described behavioral system. It's a complex interaction of traits. Chimps might be our violent cousins, but we also share 99% of our DNA with the peace-loving, sexually liberal bonobos. That's kind of cool. But what do you think? Are humans a violent species inherently? Tell me what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching D News. If you're looking to get your violence out, though, watch my buddy Tara over at E3, the biggest video game event of the year. It's going on right now, and Rev3 Games is covering every second of it. They're talking about all the big announcements like Halo, Master Chief Collection, the new Mass Effect games, and more. Tell me what you think on Twitter, at DNews. On Facebook, we're at Discovery News. And on Google+, Plus, if you're on there, too. You can also come say hi to me, at Trace Dominguez, on Twitter. Thanks for watching DNews, everybody. Y'all are great.